Hey everyone, I'm Michael and welcome to my channel. I've been getting a lot of people asking how to fix that import JSON RPC error that's happening when they go to stake their time. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix that. So let's go ahead and enter the app. Now, if I were to come up here and click connect wallet, click on MetaMask, and then connect to my wallet just like that. So you can see I have 0.001 time. Now with each transaction, every time you approve and then stake your time, you have to have enough AVAX or Avalanche tokens in your MetaMask account in order to pay for that transaction. So I've got my MetaMask open. You can see I have 0.0013 AVAX. If I were to try to convert this amount of time by clicking max and then clicking on stake, you'll see that the execution was reverted because I don't have enough AVAX in my account to cover the fees. So all that you need to do is go to wherever you bought some AVAX. For me, I have that in Coinbase and I've got some Avalanche here all you need to do is send the avalanche from wherever you bought it into your metamask to cover those fees and i'll show you how to do that right now first we want to come up here to our metamask account and click to copy the wallet address then wherever you have it we are going to send a certain amount of avax to this wallet address that we copied from our metamask account so for this example i'm going to go ahead and send 23 dollars click continue there is no Coinbase fee and there's a very, very small AVAX fee. I'm gonna go ahead and click send now. And there we go, we've sent some AVAX to our MetaMask account. So let's go back to Wonderland, check our MetaMask account. There you go, you can see that that number popped up because I just sent some funds there. And let's go ahead and disconnect and then reconnect our wallet again, just to make sure that this website understands that we now have enough AVAX to cover our transaction. So now if I wanna take this time that I have, click on max, and then click stake time, MetaMask will pop up asking me, okay, do you wanna pay this amount of fees? Yes, I do, so let's go ahead and click confirm. It'll be pending for a couple of seconds, and there we go. The balance has been updated, the transaction was successful. So if we go ahead and refresh this page, we should see the updated balance. You can see time is now zero, and I've increased the amount of memo tokens. Now, one thing to mention here is when you stake your time tokens, those tokens turn into memo tokens. And then when you come up here to unstake those memo tokens, you will receive time as a result. So staking converts time to memo, unstaking converts memo to time. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If it was and you were able to fix that error and successfully stake your time, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys in the next video.